Well, hello. Uh, just making an update on a prototype multi-platform use trailer. So we got the trailer pretty much done. I mean, there's other stuff I got to do to it. Always add to it. Stuff we forget. But this one's about the platform rails. We got them done. So the cable comes in here underneath, up and over, over to the other side. And then goes down and comes out underneath and it pulls it up over the back when it's on the ground. So it pretty much be a deadlift. But like I said, I'm not doing like a roll off where a roll off has to go down and pick it off the ground. But this is gonna be like an oil field pick. Or oil field once truck pick off the ground. Uh, the pins were a pain. So I gotta saw them. I got them real tight. Thinking that they're gonna loosen up. Over time, I got two of them. One there, one there. That one came out real good. This one here gets a little tight. You have to twist it, pull it out. But it goes all the way through. Uh, the rail was... See, it didn't go all the way through. But we had a, I had a lot to do on the rail. I had to round this edge down here in case I want to put it on another trailer from the back or something or... Put it on concrete and you want to turn up knob. I want a sharp corner there. So that was something more to add on. We had to cap this, put these two on the way I want. I want to put a hook underneath here for pulling it off. And then uh got laid out for the floor too. And then up here I had to come up with this. We had to put these stops in. So it stops, it winds up the pins. And then this setup here had to be set up. It has to have an angle under here. So you can probably see it better over there. But then the back of it had to be rolled down in the back. And then the front, this front corner on this one on the bottom had to be rolled down like the back was. So it got kind of involved to make the first one I mean now we know what we gotta do we can do it all as we go instead of going back so it'll be faster but either way and the other thing too is I got a bow in this frame this main frame down here the main frame the bottom frame part main frame of the trailer and then I bowed the top dump frame to go with it because well that's the way the steel came it went a big bow but over a long distance it became one so i think it's gonna settle no big deal you know flatbeds have bow on them i figure i'll just leave the bow in well to make that that rail sorry about that but to make the rail there the uh for the platforms you know they're not so bowed so that's the reason why i got the pins in the middle and that is all right they all touch but it's going to settle on the front and the back or it's going to settle the whole trailer in the middle so either way i should be all right that's the way it's going so we uh got metal over there i gotta build a box first and then we'll build a flat uh, a flatbed for it for hay and stuff uh, everything's working all right all right, oh uh, yeah, uh, this is the morning of when uh, the key bridge down in Baltimore collapsed. So uh, we're gonna pray for all the people involved, including the first response responders. So if you guys would pray on that. Uh, me and Otter used to travel that a lot uh, when we used to do Florida and stuff and come back up to Baltimore. All right, so Francis Scott Key Bridge went down this morning from a container ship. 
Uh, like I said, not blaming anybody or anything like that. Things happen, but pray for those that are involved. All right. God bless. Thank you.